good morning everyone Only B loan students join. Actually, one more section students, I guess, and link. All are. Yashrant, Yashrant, four zero four one. Are you from B four? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Yashrant, are you from B four? Can you hear me? Anybody is from Jan Zimam's uh, class B four? One second. Am I audible to you? Sorry. Okay, we discussed about module three. Um, design concepts right nine design concepts we discussed in the last class so today i'm going to discuss on design model can you even remember what are the design concepts What are the design concepts? Anyone? Students are very lazy. Hmm? Ruchita, 21. What are the design concepts? Manikanda. Hmm? Simply join section and so that they are not there. Abstraction, architecture, pattern, modularity, information hiding, functional independence, refinement, refactoring, and design classes I discussed. Simply ask you on, on anyway. I, I project 
projected those uh, design concepts in the screen still you don't know what it is to say then come to the next uh, next topic design model design model actually there are uh, two uh, two views of their design models one is process dimension another from the abstraction dimension two dimension two different dimension we are analyzing the design model we are viewing okay process dimension means uh, um, what are the process or task based on that we are um, analyzing and another is abstraction dimension based on the abstract level of abstraction level of abstraction means level of details from actually there is a transformation from analysis to design model that i already said you that the transformation from analysis to design actually we uh, explain this to analysis design model in a single uh, phase but there is a transformation actually the transformation we learned before itself but here you could see the two dimension like process dimension also Uh, on the x-axis and uh, abstraction dimension on the uh, y-axis. Here, uh, design models are shown, the, uh, and here this part shows the analysis model. So, analysis to design transformation is there. What is the analysis to design transformation? Analysis time. You can see the level of abstraction is very high, and design model the level of abstraction is low. Then, what is the transformation? in analysis model actually there are class diagram is there a crc models are there collaboration diagrams are there data flow diagram are there control flow diagram processing narratives are there means uh, processing narratives means a uh, um, cp uh, ac right the control process specification is there so this these these things are analysis model uh, model uh, uh, diagram so at the time the level of abstraction is very high when it comes to design model the abstraction level is low means we are here the design class realization sub system collaboration diagrams and refined to do what is refined to design class realizations sub systems collaboration diagrams represent the details means Uh, more details are dis uh, are disclosing in design model than comparing to an anal anal analysis model. Analysis model, <clears throat> if we include class analysis CRC models, then it refined to refined to means it's a uh, details uh, details are uh, showing in the design class realization of system in more detail. So. the abstraction level is less this next uh, coming to interface elements um, interface elements uh, what are the interface elements that we will get from uh, use case uh, uh, diagrams it, that uh, use case diagram for either in the form of texture uh, data diagrams uh, textual means uh, uh, we call it this user scenarios and the use case diagram means it's diagrammatic representation it's streamline diagram or activity diagram collaboration state chart diagram and sequence diagrams and this again we convert in the form of in design model it is in the form of technical interface design navigation design gui design graphical user interface design that way it's come so when it comes to next uh, component level diagrams so component level diagram uh, component level uh, diagram means that is refined form but it actually it's come from class diagram analysis uh, diagram crc diagram collaboration diagram data flow diagram these are all our input that component level and diagrams so uh, it is uh, once we con convert this analysis model into design model it, it is in the form of either component diagram design diagram activity diagram sequence diagram so at the time we um, give more uh, detail component level uh, element these are based on the process dimension so what are the process happening architecture elements to interface to component level to deployment level at the time um, analysis to uh, design there is a transformation is there that is shown in this diagram uh, actually this diagram uh, represents the two dimensions two process dim one is process dimension another is abstraction level dimension from analysis to design model conversion this one Uh, you just remember what is the refinement happening from analysis to design what is the actual input for the 
that you need to remember then comes to design model there are different types of uh, elements are there data data design elements are there architectural design elements are there interface design means when you are designing the elements we are designing in different level if you are designing the data elements you are designing the architectural elements you are designing the interface elements component elements deployment elements like that we are um, designing in different levels okay generally called as design models actually design model consists of all this uh, elements design elements so what are the types of design elements hmm? data design elements so design elements actually um, data design elements are there architectural design elements means uh, that is high level abstraction means um, what are the data you need to represent your architecture that is there in the data design elements so this model we are refine to more uh, specific representations actually it represent more specific in detail means like a datas datas we are representing in the data design elements means what are the data is processed by a computer system so structure of data structure that also we design in the data structure means either we know that uh, the graphs uh, linked list uh, queues or uh, stack uh, that part we are designing in the uh, data design uh, part then coming to architectural actually we design overall view. overall view means uh, means suppose if you are looking from the top of floor plan like means a plan like uh, suppose you construct a construct a building Uh, if uh, if you take the plan plan means uh, uh, an up, up view from um, upside view from a helicopter then how it looks like the floor plan, plan you will get right so that is the overview of the system system overview that is coming in the architectural design um, elements means uh, what you will get uh, if you if you take the top view of this building you can see what are the department in which place all this department <clears throat> you remove the um, ceiling then only you will get the floor plan right then you can understand where the rooms are located how they are interconnected in the same way uh, even come to software you will get an idea about how the subsystems are represented how they are arranged hmm? so that is the architectural design overview when come to architectural model actually and uh, do um, requirement model elements are there architectural styles and styles and patterns are there uh, from these two we are getting the information uh, these are the sources for architectural model one is requirement um, requirement model elements uh, another uh, from the uh, requirement model elements means uh, the initial uh, classes class diagram or uh, class diagram actually you will get uh, um, classes uh, objects their relationships uh, uh, data uh, means object diagrams uh, from the crc you will get the input for that when architectural Mm, style and patterns that we will discuss then coming to interface design interface means the connection between uh, different modules that is the interface design elements so the interface design elements are present the flow within and out of the system so uh, how they are communicating each other how the modules are communicating each other that is inter means uh, that is the um, internal uh, internal interface Hmm? internal phase is there an external interface means outside the system how they are communicating how the uh, subsystems are communicating with outside system like uh, if they if it is connected to a network how it is working and user interface means how the it's interacting with the user hmm? so different types of um, interface design elements are there either between the module or between outside world outside world means uh, 
with the user how it is interacting that element of, um, designing part is called interface design elements mm, uh, here it is the example as user interface design like aesthetic elements are there ergonomic elements are there technical elements are there so all these elements how we can design mm, that we are um, that designing part is called uh, interface design elements here you could see the uml interface representation for a control panel if you want to design a control panel control panel actually the what are the um in the classes you need to uh, define control panel control panel is there wireless pda is there mobile phone uh, interface keypad all these are part of control panel right so those uh, how to design hmm? the designing of these uh, these elements these elements are represented in here you could see this is a class diagram class diagram of uh, different class are there in this uh, attributes are given and operations are given how they are interconnecting how they are in interacting each other you know the keypad is a part of control panel when you click on the um, read key stroke is an operation right it means uh, we are pressing the key and we are inputting something then the key uh, what you are inputting that is decoding decoding function is operating there then control panel what are the attributes and operations of control panel read key stroke is there decode the keys there display status lighting uh, the leds and confirmation control messages all these comes under control panel and uh, personal digital assistant the virus person also you can connect to the control panel and mobile phone also can connect you can all these are external devices can uh, communicate with the control panel through a keypad so that is an interface this is an external interface which um, uh, is used to connect with the other output um, other uh, external entities external entities so this is a keypad is an interface act as an interface between two external entities this is simple diagram not uh, showing any details next is component level design component level design means what are the different types of components for example this is the uml Uh, component diagram for a sensor management means a sensor is there a sensor management uh, component is there in the sensor management component contain many uh, hardware software uh, components uh, that we simply represent as sensor management so component level diagram actually uh, represent the detailed plan we could say it's a detailed plan like uh, uh, for example uh, mm -hmm. Uh, if you take one room hmm? architecture actually overview i said as i did you right from the top plan hmm? if you check the plan how the system how the building is looks like so that is the architecture when it come to detail designing uh, of a single room you just you you are mentioning every internal details like um, where the black point is where the fans which uh, like If electrical wires are plumping, uh, means is there any tap uh, plumping uh, pipelines are there? Everything you have to mention in detail. That is the um, that's why we call it as abstraction is very low when it comes to the designing. So the component level design for some software is similar to set of detailed specification of uh, each room in a house. Detailed specification means all the details, all the details of a module. All the uh, coming to software, all the details of module we need to mention here. Internal details of software means like what is the data structure used in a module? What are the algorithms we used in a module? Those internal details we mention clearly. So the processing of data structure occur in a component and an interface which allow all the component operations. So this is we explain that the processing of data structure occurs in a component and interface. which allow all the component operation means components are uh, interrelated to each other right components are transferring information 
um, means passing messages between the components so uh, that is an in, uh, that is an interface so we need an interface between components and at the same time all the uh, these components are interacting with an external entity so that is a, a user interface this is another in the, this interface is internal interface so the processing of data structure occur in a component and an interface which allow all the component operations so in a context of object oriented programming component shown in the uml diagram here it's showing it represents the processing logic this is an example you could see the uml component diagram for a sensor management the sensor management means sensor is interacting sensor is an entity that entity is interacting with the sensor management sensor management is a component which contains software hardware components that we are not mentioning in detail but uh, sensor is an external entity they are interacting with the component so component level diagram are generally represent the internal details of the components and also how they are interacting with external entities next is deployment level deployment means uh, software functionality and subsystem that allocated in the physical computing environment would support the software means we already learned that uh, software um, all this uml diagrams right in for etm at least at the time we learn uh, we draw the um, deployment represent a uh, deployment diagram actually represent both hardware and software but um, software we are not mentioning directly actually we are, how the hardware things are related to each other here you could see a control panel is there cpu server is there personal computer is there but the internal details actually it's no need to mention but um, this is um, secure control panel cpu server and personal computer these are the three hardware elements how they are interacting here uh, software elements and hardware elements are mentioned inside inside in the in details are there but when you draw the um, atm deployment diagram you know mention the uh, software details in that okay then deployment diagram actually shows the interaction between the many hardware elements so this uh, this is what uh, explain the deployment level design element show the software functionality and subsystem that allocated in physical computing environment which support the software this is the physical computing environment the physical computing environment we represent in the form of a node in the node we represent how the um, software subsystems are interacting this is the software security access right uh, external access uh, security observation management communication uh, software subsystems how they are interacting that we are uh, drawing using the deployment level diagram deployment level all these are design diagrams so uh, design designing what you understand from this designing means we are designing different things we are different elements we are designing separately data we are designing architecture we are designing interface we are designing separately component level we are designing and deployment yeah level means hardware relations between uh, hard means i mean physical environment we are uh, designing more we are all these models we are designing separate mm -hmm. when it comes to a um, a project a software project you have to design all the interface you need to design a data you need to design architecture you need to design um, interface you need to design component you need to design so every single part we are designing separately so designing is very important what you understand designing model is very important very much important actually it is derived from the analysis model so in the design model or analysis model elements won't be there we are using all the relevant information which you support the coding or using in the designing uh, level
next creating an architecture a design when it comes to architectural design actually we need to uh, in this all the designing models we are not learning we are learning only architectural design the remaining designs are not uh, learning in detail in architectural design uh, we have to learn what is your architecture agility architecture architectural styles architectural consideration architectural decisions architectural design actually this time uh, i think uh, the <clears throat> syllabus uh, in syllabus the connection between the um, topics are missing somewhere it's not there is not a, there is no continuity in syllabus so software architecture designing so what is an architectural design how many of you are listening the class anybody is listening the class hmm? one uh, thing is when you listen the class you should listen continuously you are listening some class and you are missing another class you don't understand you don't understand there is a connection between all the classes so uh, you should not miss the classes the lectures are missing i think
Okay, if these many students are following me, then uh, you are not getting any doubts. You don't have any doubts. Then I'm going to. Okay, at least some students, half of the students are listening. Then next is architectural design. What is an architectural design? Architectural design is not actual implementation, right? When you come to the uh, um, building construction. What is architecture? Architecture is your uh, before um, you design, uh, before you implement the actual building, you are designing the architecture, means what you are going to implement. That, uh, that you are explaining in architecture, right? So, in the same way, when it comes to um, software also, software architecture is not an operational software, but it is the uh, in architecture, we are focusing what are the software components you are going to implement. Hmm? What is the role of the software components that you are going to explain uh, in the uh, software architecture. So what is a software component? Software component means uh, a simple program and a class. A class is also a component. That class you can replace means any standalone unit which we can uh, uh, use um, yeah, we can uh, reuse you can reuse it's called a uh, module or component okay a software component consists of a simple program module or an object oriented class when it comes to architectural design it's not uh, even the class class itself is does not uh, give any output okay when the class is a part of a program it can generate something, but otherwise the class itself is not a standalone, means it, it, it itself is not producing any output. So it's not an executable part. It's not an operational part. So the architecture is not an operational software. So architectural design, you just relate with the real time, uh, means a building construction is, that is not uh, the context is different but the concept is same so you can think about a building construction when it, when we discuss about design architecture planning uh, all these things we can relate with the uh, real time uh, so the architecture design extend and consist of database design middleware design also a part of architectural design only can uh, then design contain representation of what you are designing actually you are designing data program structure then you design the interface then you design the procedural details so different things you can represent in the architectural design then who does this a database designer system architect means if uh, you are uh, designing uh, database means database designing is also part of an architectural design mm -hmm. so uh, when it comes to database designing who will do uh, who will do that database designer will do that like system architect actually is the one who create the system designing mm -hmm. Actually, the database, the components, uh, data structures, classes, all are part of the um, system architecture. Then our work product is architectural model encompasses data architecture and program structure. From uh, data architecture, program structure, database um, design, uh, architecture, all these are outcome or output or work product of the particular phase, architectural design phase. So actually do the representations of data and program structure, interface characteristics and procedural details. 
so what is the software architecture how can you find the <coughs> software architecture it is the structure or structures of the system which comprise software component externally visible property of the component and relationship among them okay then uh, components and their property and relationship we are designing in the architectural designs a uh, design type so it is a structures of the system which comprise actually what we um, were designing in architecture we are designing the structure of a system which consist of external visible prop, um, components and their uh, properties and the relationship so that that is called an architectural uh, design so architecture uh, represent like a building architecture represent different how the different rooms are allocating for example there are different architectural styles are there when it comes to a building you know that um, colonial style is there traditional style is there um, and then um, other um, if you go to european um, countries you could see the black forest style is there um, then uh, victoria style is there so if you uh, if you mention the style you could identify how it looks like you can imagine how it looks like because that architectural style represent how it, how the system looks like when it comes to a tra traditional um, house how the so generally how it looks like so you, you can modify it but how the general structure you will get that idea you will get a victorian style house how it looks like a colonial style how it look black black forest that particular style has a particular way of arrangement means the um, how the rooms are arranging where they are, are, are arranging the rooms the positions also uh, well defined so in the same way in architecture also we can define how those components are arranging that i will explain the next topic why it is important i'll explain about architectural style in the next class so why this architecture why we are going for architecture allow the communication between stakeholder and developer then architecture focus on early design decisions actually what we are focusing on design decisions only so architecture composes a small intellectually graspable model the output is always a model it's not a working software it's a model okay when you design in that particular uh, you, th there are different architectural styles are here even it comes to the software also software component design arrangements you can choose different architectural styles like uh, building um, house construction also there are different styles in the same way here also the built in styles and patterns are there so you can choose any of those patterns so from that you could identify what is the actual um um system look like how we can um in the next class i will uh, i will show you some examples then you will understand how it is different from um, um, different each other the software architecture composes small intellectually graspable model and it means model is the output and it helps to identify the system structured and how the components work together so you once you see the architecture you could identify how these components are arranged how the components are arranged and how they are working together hmm? so that idea you will get from architectural style itself so we'll discuss that part next class um is there any doubt from today class ask me please ask me is there any doubt 
is clear can you hear me yes ma'am it's clear i'm getting response preeti is responding so uh, then what about your uml submission some students i noticed they submitted in another link okay then i change the link name itself uh, but all the delayed response will get a rejection marks okay the deadline was um, deadline was over at it was on saturday i got some response yesterday also obviously i will give marks but uh, will reduce some marks so deadline is important i already so um if you again if you delay definitely the number of marks i will reduce it will be more one who submit the next day will get some uh, reduction and after that it will increase the reduction so i'll reduce more mark so anyone is pending i think uh, 10 more members are pending i don't know whether these people are attending class or not some students said uh, we were not aware about uh, the link you created if you listen to the class you could uh, get the idea right and i posted the link even the groups also but some students are saying i was not aware about then what can i do i posted the link and i said in the group and even during the class time also i mentioned about the link but still you are not aware means you did not listen you are not attending anything so this is your class and um, if anyone is pending um, uh, post your upload your worksheet today itself any other doubts regarding anything any doubts can can i stop Can you please hear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to wind up session. Okay, ma'am. Thank you.